Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a house tour of my current save file. And before I start the video, I want to see that there is a fan going on in the background. So that's probably the noise that you guys are hearing, but I am going to do my best to try to cut it out. And I also want to see that I do have my cat on my lap. So if you guys hear something, it's probably that. The house is valued at about 300 grand. It's three floors and a basement. So when you first walk into the house, you see the foyer and the house is heavily modded. So you might see a lot of CC. And then to the right of the foyer, you see the living room, which I actually really like. In the living room, I kept it more modern. Um, There is a lot of browns and stuff. I, I also tried to keep it a little mid-century, which it's kind of mid-century um, with the chairs and I guess the coffee table, but the big couches that are from the living room um, set, um, they are more modern. So that's one thing that doesn't really fit the mid-century aesthetic. But with everything else, I did try to keep it like um i guess more wood tones with the piano doesn't really match because that's from like another collection i tried to keep this room more dark with some light and brown tones and then moving on from the living room we walk into the kitchen um and you see this beautiful chandelier hanging down from the table or from the ceiling to the table um and then you see i have the smart trash can which gives you money every time you throw something away in the actual kitchen where you make food and stuff you see um i have like a built-in cabinet with two fridges i tried to keep this really simple just because my two of my sims are vampires which they don't really eat except for actual sims and the other sim i have is a mermaid she usually just makes stuff for herself um every time she gets hungry and she's pretty much the only one that uses the actual kitchen that's why it's pretty simple and then in this room um walking straight forward you see the laundry room which can also be like a butler's room or just like a spare bedroom I did keep this pretty simple. I personally just made this addition to the actual um, house. It wasn't here before. It used to be like a little office, but I changed it. Um, and then walking back out and into the other room here is the bathroom, which I guess is the guest bathroom or the butler's bathroom. And I have no idea why there is uh, food here and it's actually spoiled. So let me throw it away. Um, yeah, so this is just the... Uh, butler's um bathroom which right now i do not have a butler just because like i said um they are two vampires so they don't really produce that much trash and dishes and stuff so there's not really a need for a butler or a maid um so yeah so it's a pretty simple bathroom so walking out of the bathroom and in upstairs you see a chess table and a sim playing chess which that's the father or the stepdad of my current legacy i guess um and yeah you see two doors here and walking into the door here you see the parents bedroom and it is the parents bedroom even though it is small um this was originally going to be the daughter's bedroom but since she is the heir i didn't want to give her the bigger bedroom and they do have a master's or a suite i guess um they have a his and hers sink and i actually really love this mirrors so you might see them a lot around the house and they also have a balcony here which is all to themselves and the daughter also has one of course but hers is a lot bigger and you'll see that um later on so yeah i also kept it with some flowers and pots and just some a little bit of clutter I, i'm not really too good of clutter so there's not that much so walking back out into the hallway it's another office or the only office in the house i guess like i said previously there used to be two offices but now there's pretty much only one there's a lot of books for this room i tried to keep it more of a blue gold and dark aesthetic um for pretty much the rest of the house i did try to keep it like a minimalism with pretty neutral colors for this one i i did try to give it like a more fancy aesthetic i guess and the mother sim is currently on the laptop or on the pc um she is a writer um and she's also a vampire so yeah so walking back out you see a hallway which you can kind of see that this wasn't originally part of the house i made um i did decide to do this later on so yeah so walking up you see a big hallway with another piano and yeah this is the heiress bedroom and it's really big yeah so walking in to the bed and a tv and a fireplace and then you go a little further and see the bathroom 
which has a bathtub and a shower um and i actually really liked how this bathroom looks it's probably one of the one of my favorite bathrooms i have created and it's probably one of my favorite rooms i have in the entire house but yeah um and then walking forward or moving on you see her closet which is actually pretty big it's bigger than the parents bedroom i mean her she basically has a whole floor to herself but she rarely uses it because um she does have like an inner pool since she's a mermaid and she mainly sleeps in there okay so moving on from the closet you walk back into the bathroom and then you see the balcony outside which is featured with a, a hot tub and also um i want to say a witches a sea witches cauldron this is from a mod um expanded uh, the expanded mermaids mod i will link it down below if i remember so walking back to the first floor you can see that it does have a basement um and walking into the basement it, you are greeted with three doors the first one the main one um there is a home theater here which is featured with a lot of wine a popcorn machine some paintings of movies and um the tv which came with i'm actually not sure which pack it was but yeah it does have like the big tv i did size it down just because it didn't fit the whole size tv and yeah so walking back out you see a bathroom which is very modern it's it's like very different from the other part of the house you see a, a big tub here but yeah this is mainly for when you use the gym or the pool you can like come here and just shower or if you have to use the bathroom you can you can just come here and use it yeah it is pretty small um and simple so yeah so walking back out you walk into the gym and pool area so the gym is pretty minimal um doesn't really have that much stuff since my writer is a celebrity i didn't really want her to deal with that much stuff so i did des decide to give her like um um a home gym so yeah that's pretty much why i have this and i pretty much just built the house as i go so anything looks out of place is because of that because i usually just build it when my sim needs something or something like that so here's the pole for my mermaid sim um it does have like the bubble steamers and stuff so that's probably the effects you guys are seeing and it is pretty small she mainly uses this one to sleep but yeah and it's also pretty small because the lot isn't that big i guess it gets the job done when she has like low hydration and it's pretty late in the night and i can't go to a beach so yeah so that's pretty much why i have it here okay so moving on um there's more doors here and this one leads to a hallway pretty simple hallway i just furnished this like literally 10 minutes ago um so that's why it's not that furnished but yeah to the left you, there is a door a glass door which leads to music studio so yeah she is gonna be like in the music career and stuff i also just furnished this that's why it's not that furnished so there's a uh, another pc here just in case she has to use it and that's locked to her so only she can use it so yeah pretty simple i don't have that much stuff here if you walk back out and into the right there is a music room which has a microphone two pianos or two keyboards and a guitar and a violin and again it's not that furnished just because i am kind of creating it as a go when she needs something i just put it up there or when i have extra money saved up i just furnish it but yeah she is almost gonna move out just because she is one day away from turning a young adult so that's pretty much why i'm doing the ho this house tour is because when she turns into a young adult i am gonna move her out into salani just because she is a mermaid so yeah so that's pretty much it for today i know this video is kind of simple and short but yeah i mainly wanted to do this house tour just because it's pretty much gonna be the last time i play in this house i think i am also forgetting the back, the back doors which i'll just put pictures of it's pretty simple it just has like a barbecue and a small pool which i pretty much never use um that's it i'll do my best to pretty much edit this video down and try to keep it simple this house is currently not in the gallery just because it does have a lot of custom content and i don't really want to find all of it that i use just because i did use a lot pretty much the whole house is custom content so yeah that's pretty much why i don't have it on the gallery but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and that's it for me bye